forget everything you thought you knew about fighter jets in Canada. The Gripen isn't just a combat aircraft, it's a strategic game changer poised to redefine Canadian air defense and intelligence operations. Prepare to see how its advanced features offer a fresh, multifaceted perspective on its true value. When people think of Canada, they picture peace, snow-covered landscapes, calm diplomacy, a country that rarely stirs up military drama. But beneath that calm, there's a storm quietly building. Canada's air defense, once a symbol of reliability under NORAD, is now facing an identity crisis. The F-35 deal, hailed as a leap into the future, has instead turned into a mirror reflecting decades of hesitation, bureaucracy, and budget politics. And the truth? While Ottawa debates contracts, the Royal Canadian Air Force continues to rely on fighter jets that were designed when cassette tapes were still cool, the aging CF-18 Hornets. Their pilots still fly with pride, but everyone in defense circles knows the hard reality. Time is running out. This isn't just about buying a shiny new jet. It's about defending a sky so massive it could swallow most European nations whole especially the Arctic frontier, where radar coverage fades and temperatures punish both men and machines. But here's the real problem. The threats that define modern warfare are changing faster than Canada's procurement cycles. We're no longer talking about Cold War-style dogfights over frozen airspace. Today, it's hypersonic missiles that can cross the pole before a meeting in Ottawa even ends, and drone swarms that can overwhelm defenses faster than radar can react. So, Canada stands at a crossroads between the legacy of its Cold War past and the urgency of a new age of aerial warfare. And that's where the Gripen enters the conversation, not as just another fighter jet, but as a possible solution to a much deeper strategic puzzle. Because maybe, just maybe, the answer to Canada's defense dilemma lies not in more technology, but in smarter strategy. When we talk about fighter jets, most people imagine speed, agility, and firepower. Dogfights, the dramatic ballet of steel and smoke. But the Gripen tells a different story. It's not just built to fight in the air, it's built to outthink the airspace itself. At the heart of the Gripen lies its secret weapon, the brain. A fusion engine that doesn't just process data, it orchestrates it. Every radar pulse, every electronic whisper from friendly or hostile systems, the Gripen absorbs it, fuses it, and feeds it back to the pilot as a single, crystal clear picture of the entire battlefield. This is sensor fusion, but Saab took it a step further. Where older systems give you information, the Gripen gives you understanding. It's the difference between knowing something's out there and knowing exactly what it's about to do. And when it comes to electronic warfare, the Gripen doesn't roar, it whispers. Its EW suite can jam, deceive, and blind enemy radars before a missile even leaves the rail. In other words, it can win without firing a shot. A perfect fit for nations like Canada, where defense isn't about aggression, it's about control, denial, and deterrence. But the real genius lies beyond the jet itself. The Gripen is more than a machine. It's a data node in a much larger network. A backbone for what defense strategists now call joint all-domain operations linking air, land, sea, cyber, and even space assets into one seamless web of awareness. Imagine this. A Gripen patrols near the Arctic Circle. It spots a high-speed anomaly, maybe a drone swarm or a stealth cruise missile. Instantly, that data streams to naval vessels, ground sensors, and allied satellites. Everyone, from the pilot to NORAD command sees the same picture, reacts as one. That's not just defense, that's harmony in warfare. And it's the kind of integration Canada desperately needs if it hopes to stay one step ahead in an age where battles are fought in both code and clouds. 
because sometimes the most powerful weapon in the sky isn't the missile under your wing, it's the intelligence flowing through your network. In modern warfare, the most valuable weapon isn't always the one that explodes. It's the one that sees first, understands fastest, and shares instantly. That's where the Gripen quietly rewrites the rules. Because beyond its missiles and maneuvers lies something far more strategic, intelligence. Every Gripen in the sky is effectively a flying reconnaissance platform, a data-gathering organism built to thrive in contested, complex environments. Its advanced reconnaissance pods and onboard sensors can sweep vast Arctic corridors or volatile coastlines in real time mapping radar emissions, tracking electronic footprints, and building a living picture of the battle space second by second. This isn't passive observation, it's active awareness. And that awareness is priceless in an era where threats can emerge from anywhere. A stealth drone off Baffin Bay, or a hypersonic missile streaking in from the polar edge. In many ways, the Gripen functions as a miniature airborne early warning system a compact scout capable of delivering persistent surveillance in places where large AWACS platforms can't go or can't afford to stay. Its advanced radar, wide-spectrum sensors, and digital backbone allow it to patrol silently, feeding live intelligence not only to its pilot but to the entire command network. But what makes this system truly lethal is how it shares that intelligence. Grip and secure data links operate like neural pathways between allies. Encrypted, adaptive, and fast enough to transfer mission-critical data in real time. Whether it's the Royal Canadian Air Force, the US under NORAD, or a NATO partner across the Atlantic, everyone receives the same picture, the same second. That's more than communication, that's interoperability perfected. Because the battlefield of the future won't just be about who flies the fastest jet, it'll be about who can connect the dots first. And in that race, the Gripen isn't just competing, it's quietly becoming the intelligence backbone that every modern defense network wishes it had. Defense spending is often measured in billions, but real power is measured in balance. And few countries understand that better than Canada. With one of the world's largest airspaces and one of the most demanding climates, Canada doesn't need an aircraft that just looks advanced on paper. It needs one that can do more with less, adapt fast, and thrive where others freeze. That's where the Gripen's cost-effectiveness and flexibility become more than talking points. They become strategy. Operating costs are nearly half those of the F-35. Its maintenance is simple, field-ready, and designed for pilots and crews who can't always rely on massive base infrastructure. In practical terms, that means sustainability, not just in fuel and parts, but in policy. Because defense budgets aren't endless, and political patience for expensive projects is even shorter. Gripen offers Canada a way to protect its skies without draining its treasury. Smart defense, not show defense. Now imagine this. A detachment of Gripens operating from a frozen airstrip in Nunavut or northern Quebec. Minimal ground crew, rapid refuel, quick turnaround. Within minutes, they're back in the sky, patrolling the Arctic approaches. This isn't theory, it's what the Gripen was built for. Rapid deployment, austere field operations, and unmatched resilience. Because in a country where geography itself is a challenge, mobility becomes deterrence. And there's another angle, one that reaches beyond defense and into economics, training and industry. A Gripen acquisition wouldn't just modernize Canada's air fleet, it could ignite its aerospace sector. Joint development, simulator programs, and tech transfer opportunities could empower Canadian engineers and pilots alike. From Montreal to Winnipeg, that means jobs, innovation, and domestic pride, not just imported hardware. So when we talk about the grip and strategic value for Canada, we're not just comparing jets. We're imagining a shift from dependence to resilience, 
from luxury defense to intelligent deterrence. Because maybe the future of Canadian air power won't come from spending more, but from thinking differently. Every generation faces a moment where choices define not just policy, but identity. For Canada, that moment is now. The question isn't simply which jet to buy, it's what kind of future to build. The Gripen isn't a silver bullet, it's a foundation, a piece of a much larger defense puzzle. It offers something far more strategic than a headline deal, the framework for a layered, intelligent defense architecture capable of confronting next-generation threats head-on because the battlefield of tomorrow won't unfold neatly between nations. It will stretch across air, land, sea, and now cyberspace and orbit. Missiles will move faster, drones will think smarter, and information will become as decisive as firepower. And this is where the Gripen quietly fits. Not as a standalone fighter, but as a connector. Linked with autonomous drones, satellite constellations, and AI-driven command systems, it can give Canada a single, living defense network. Adaptive, aware, and always learning. Picture it. A Gripen patrols over the Arctic. Drones fan out beneath the clouds. Satellites relay instant imaging. Artificial intelligence filters the data before it even hits the pilot's display. That's not science fiction, that's the direction global defense is already taking. And Canada can be part of it or watch from the sidelines. Because in 2025 and beyond, choosing the right platform isn't about prestige, it's about survival. The right choice means sovereignty over the North. It means interoperability with allies. And most of all, it means giving future pilots, engineers, and decision makers the tools they need to defend a nation defined by both vastness and vision. Canada's air defense story has always been one of quiet strength. But strength without modernization risks becoming nostalgia. Now is the moment to evolve, to think beyond dogfights, beyond legacy politics, and embrace a defense philosophy built on integration, intelligence, and independence. Because the true measure of a nation's power isn't how loud its engines roar, it's how clearly its vision soars. In the end, Canada's defense future won't be decided in boardrooms. It'll be written in the skies above the Arctic where strategy meets survival. The Gripen may not be the loudest contender, but sometimes the smartest choice flies under the radar. Because the next generation of warfare won't be about dominance, it'll be about adaptation. And the nations that adapt first will lead the skies. If you believe in smart defense, not just expensive defense, hit subscribe, join the Skyjet Wings community, and let's keep exploring the stories that shape the future of air power.